Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? So today we've got part two for you here at Atlantis and Paradise Island. In our previous video, if you watched part one, we toured the inside, the lobby of Atlantis and showed you all the cool things offered there. Today, we're heading outside and we're gonna start at probably one of the most iconic spots here at Atlantis, the Flying Fish Statue. So here at the Flying Fish Statue, this is pretty much the center of the resort, I would say. Um, it's kind of overarched by these massive royal towers here and the bridge sweep. So we're gonna take a tour through all the grounds here at Atlantis. Getting you guys used to like what's, what's offered here, where some of the food offerings are and the pools and some of the water slides and aqua venture. And we're also gonna take a look at some of the beaches here today too. All right, so without further ado, let's go check out the grounds and aqua venture. So before we go though, I just want you guys to guess. I looked this up. How many rooms do you think are at the Atlantis Towers? I'll tell you guys that in just a few minutes here. So if you, if you know, or if you have a guess, comment down below how many rooms you think are here. So we're gonna start our tour. Actually, I really can't hold it back. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys the answer right now. It's 1,200 rooms. 1,200 rooms they have here. It's pretty incredible. So if we walk behind us is the uh, Royal Towers and the bridge suite we just looked at. If we look this way, we can see the Royal Baths. And this is a pretty quiet area, they say here at Atlantis, so there's not too much really going on. They got some, some light music. Um, there's, you know, not too many pool games or anything happening. Just people relaxing, enjoying their day. So if you want a nice quiet area, here we go at the Royal Baths. You can have a spot here and hang out. So I just came up here on the, uh, kind of the Royal Deck here. We're basically underneath the uh, bridge suite. And if you come over here, you can see this is the like stingray pool. There's always some like stingrays swimming around. Like they swim around in like schools too. So there's a couple there. There's a whole pile of them right there too. Look at them go. Okay, so here's the flying fish statue. I've just kind of come up to the um, right of it now and I'm at this like um, kind of like indi map indicator of where things are. I'll just kind of point out where we are here. This is the flying fish statue um, where we started the video here and showed the royal baths. We're right here and we're gonna walk down this little walkway here and into Aqua Venture to show you some of the cool um, pools, the slides, some of the bigger slides over here and then wrap around into um, some of the cool stuff over there. And we're gonna end on the uh, Cove Beach over here because that's one of our favorite spots here at Atlantis to hang out. So let's go check it out. So turning around here and heading down the path, this is actually something new they'd installed here is this, this uh, heart swing here, which is a cool little spot to take a picture or a nice Instagram spot. Okay, so if we come up here just on the left, the first thing in the um, Aqua Venture is probably one of the most more thrilling things is this leap of faith right here. And then just beside it here, we have the um, serpent slide, which is a little bit more uh, tame. And then uh, I think they're actually, yeah, as you can see these two people came out here, you get a slide and you can go tandem with like your partner. And then just uh, beyond that, there's another slide called the Challenger Slide and one another one called the Jungle Slide. So I'll just show you on the map here that Mona's holding. This is the Leap of Faith, and then the uh, Challenger and Jungle Slide are just here on the back. So we'll go take a look at those and show you what they look like. And then just for kind of reference, just beside me to the right here is the Royal Baths and the kind of quiet pool area. There's always these uh, like signed indicator posts telling you where things are to help you kind of navigate to where you want to go. Just in front of us here, you can grab a bite to eat here at the Mayan Cart. And they also have some drinks here, it looks like, too. Do they have, oh yeah, they do have some like pre-wrapped food there. Sandwiches and salads. Also, uh, Mona just pointed out like a water refill station too. So if we walk up here and look to the left, you can actually see the aquarium, or a different aquarium here that we haven't seen yet. And if we look inside here, you'll see the, um, so you can see the serpent slide. And then the leap of faith slide is just beyond there. And then you can see like there's actually like sharks swimming around in here. So if you're going through the slide, especially this one that goes a little bit slower, you can see the sharks as you're going down the slide. I'll tell you one thing, you definitely don't see the sharks when you're going down the leap of faith because the water splashes you in the face so much. And look at this little fish here looking at us. So just behind us was the um, leap of faith. This is the entrance to go up to any of the slides right here. So just up there would be where to get to the slides. And just in front of us here is the Mayan temple pool. This is where some of the other slides come out right here. And it's definitely a lot more noisy here at this pool. Um, there's just a lot more people running around. Um, some kids running around as well too. So if you want a bit more quiet, definitely the Royal Bath is where it's at. There's some food offerings around the uh, pool as well. So one of the food offerings is Shark Bites Bar and Grill. And then over here there's a zero entry card as well. That's what it's called. Here's a closer look at shark bites over here. You can see some people grabbing some food. 
and then lots of spots to kind of pull up a lawn chair and relax. This looks like more like a shallow pool, a good spot with kids. I can see lots of families in here right now. Oh yeah, Mona's just saying this is like a zero entry too, so it's like very shallow to walk in. There's no steps at all, so you can easily access this pool here. Okay, so the Mayan temple pool is just over here. We just walked all the way around here. Shark Bites is over there. And if we turn over this way, there's another entrance over here to the pool and a food offering here called the Zero Entry Cart where you can grab some snacks and refill your drinks and stuff like that over here. So we're gonna head behind the cart here into our next spot. So it's kind of a bit of a maze walking through here, to be honest. <laughs> there's lots of pathways and things like that and waterfalls and pools. So looking over from the Zero Cart Food Cart here, the Zero Cart Food Offering, we can look over here. And this is called the Grotto Pool which on the map it does show that you have to pay an extra fee to kind of sit here. Um, I don't know exactly maybe why that is or if there's like some extra service that happens here. Um, but anyways, this is the grotto pool. So from the grotto pool, we're just going to walk down this way. Again, the Mayan temple pool and the food cart are just over here on our left. And we're going to walk up this way here. And I can kind of see the sign over here that we were just talking about where it does say preferred seating and there are some like uh, planters with some um, plants in them too, kind of like sectioning it off, almost showing you like not to go past here. So I do think that is preferred seating, but I don't know what it really gives you, to be honest. I think maybe it's just more of like a private pool, um, but here's the sign here, it says AquaVenture Preferred Seating. So here you can just call, it says extension 41 to book preferred seating. So just across from the uh, preferred seating area down this pathway here, you can see a little part of the uh, lazy river just kind of back over here and then here underneath the bridge as well. So we're gonna go in that a little later. But one other iconic thing here that you can see from far away from uh, the hotel we're staying at is this big building right here called the Power Tower. So I don't know if we can see them from here, but if we walk up to the Power Tower, there's four different slides and the slides are called the Abyss, the Surge, the Drop and the Falls. So there's all kinds of different slides in there. I think they're probably just like kind of named for their kind of thrill level. All right, so we're in the water park now. This is a little bit later in the day. I'm going to head up on the abyss slide, which is I'm going to show you in two seconds here. So there it is. I got to go up these stairs all the way up to the top here and it's a big body slide. Apparently it's going to drop us into the hidden cenote here in the Aquaventure Park. So let's go see. So I'm here at the top of the power towers. You can see there's the big uh, columns there's the cove my heart's beating oh my gosh there's the um, leap of faith and the mayan tower it's actually leap of faith on the other side we got a great view up here of uh the royal towers coral on the beach and then the ryu the ryu palace over here what a great view from up here here's where we're gonna go the abyss Okay, you can go. Oh my gosh. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no screaming? Okay. <laughs> All right, wish me luck. So here's the a look at what the power tower looks like. We're just walking kind of like alongside it here and we can see it. There's trees in the way, but you can see all these different uh, numbers are the names of the slides. And uh, you can even see some of the slides that wrap around here as well. Okay, so just down from the power tower, we're heading into sort of, this is like more of like a kid's area. Um, this is called uh, Splashers, which is like a big structure where kids can kind of climb on. There's like fountains and like small little like, um, almost like little, funnels and things that splash water on you. So you can see it just over here. I'll kind of walk up and give you a bit of a closer look here. So there it is right there. This is Splashers and then the big pool here. And then just over here on the other side of the Mayan temple or the Leap of Faith, you can see Ripples. And Ripples is another small little kids area too with a shallow pool. Some pretty cool theming too. Like they've got like seahorses and stuff. But I really love that. That's like probably my favorite part here at Atlantis is all the theming. You can see there's a small little water slide in Ripples here as well. Um, very, very small slides like this little one here splashing into the pool. 
So yeah, it's great. This is a great spot for families and kids to hang out. Lots of uh, seats available around here too and lots of shade as well. So just from back at Splashers here, just pointing over this way, there's a small little snow cones booth. So you can get some uh, snow cones here, some frosty treats. And then over here you can always see these like green and white towels that um, are towel stands so you can pick up new fresh towels. So just turning over this way, if we walk over here, we're going to take this path up to the left and head over to like the cove area. But over to the right here you can see um, a food offering here. This is called Splashers Snacks. And they have all kinds of different things in here. It says they have the Magnum ice cream bars sold here. And then also another refill station for your waters. So turning over to the left we're going to... Oh wow. One of the big buckets and splashers just turned over and spilled a bunch of water. So we're going to head up this pathway here. It was just to the left of Splasher Snacks. And this is going to take us over to the cove area. Which is again another more relaxing pool too. Which last time Mona and I were here, this is where we spent most of our time because the pool is so nice. And you're going to get a sneak peek at it in just a second here. So just through here, I don't know if you guys can see. Basically if we walk down from Splashers towards um, the Royal Towers and where the fitness center is located, that's actually where you'd catch the um, wave pool or the um, lazy river and you can see the entrance to the lazy river is just down here. So we're going to head back up this pathway here carrying on down the uh, down our walk down the path here and uh, there's a little sneak peek of the lazy river here. You can see there's like a little uh, tunnel here they kind of like push you through. There's a little there's a lifeguard down there that just guides everybody through and some people enjoying the lazy river there. Just off to the right here you can see another entrance up to the power tower and all the different slides that are offered up here. All right, so just continuing up the path again here, we're finally at our destination. This is the Cove Pool. So this is one of the last parts here in AquaVenture. So although there was quite a bit to show there, it's actually not that big. You can kind of get around the area in like a good five, 10 minute walk easily. And if we head down the steps here, there's a, basically another spot to relax. There's some food offerings here too. So if we look here, this is the uh, Breakwaters Grill, which has all kinds of like burgers, hot dogs, sweet treats, nachos, salads, and um, alcoholic beverages. If we turn over this way, this is going to be the access to the beach, which we're going to go to in just a second here. And if we turn from the left over from the beach entrance, you can see the cove pool. That's where we're going to go right now and just take a look. Okay, so here's the map. So we came from this way. We walked up this pathway here and we're back at this little star here. So this was the Breakwater Bar and Grill. Um, over here, number 32 is Beach Bites. You can get some snacks here. This is actually close to the beach. That's what these seats are right here. And then if you kind of walk or swim through, you can kind of walk over this way to number 31, which is the Riverbend Cafe. So sorry, Mona's just telling me too that the uh, this pool is actually, instead of called the Cove Pool, this one's called the, the Bass Colonnade Pool, which you're going to see why in just a second with all the theming in here. So let's go take a look. So just off to the left before we go to the pool, there's a exit point for the Lazy River. And you can find those all throughout AquaVenture. And this is our favorite pool. I think just because it's so open, it's like really, really well themed too. There's like tiny little grottos too that you can take pictures in. I think we have some cool footage of us inside those grottos last time we are here. And then you can see there's like Atlantis kind of like theming, these columns throughout the pool here. And lots of seating all around the pool too. So yeah, if you actually walk down these pathways leading over here, that's going to take you back to um, where the Lazy River entrance is and back to Splashers. So that kind of connects you back to where we are, or back to where we were. All right, so we just walked up here, up this pathway. We're going to go out to the beach to show you guys probably one of the most spectacular beaches on Paradise Island here. So um, just before we do that, I just want to point out too, that there is the other hotel here. We're not going to get a chance to tour that today because you need some special access. But if you can imagine, this hotel is the ultra luxury experience here at Atlantis. And if you thought Atlantis was luxurious, this hotel, the Cove, is spectacular. So um, on the other side of the Cove, there's also another pool just for Cove guests. So if we turn this way here, this is going to take us out to the beach here. And I'm actually really excited to show you guys this. This is Paradise Island. This is Atlantis here and there's a little, a little lagoon here. So even if the weather is a little bit like rocky and some of the waves are coming in, they've got this beach set up that like it blocks a lot of the waves and you still get some pretty good swimming in here too. So yeah, take a look at this. Wow. 
<laughs> so even as a day guest to Atlantis, you still have access to this beach here too and you can hang out. There's even some like reefs outside there too that you can snorkel at or if you bring your mask, you can, um, your snorkeling mask, you can snorkel out there. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is all partitioned off like this is not public beach. You have to be an Atlantis guest or a day guest to uh, enjoy this beach here. So there's no people trying to sell you jet skis or anything like that. This is all private. Look at that lonely palm tree over there. That's a great spot for like an Instagram picture. So I wish I could stay here and just hang out with you guys for another little bit here at this beach. But take in the sights. So we're going to head back to the Royal Baths and we're going to go check out the other two towers, the coral and the beach. So let's head back to the Royal Baths. Just to the right of the Royal Baths, there's like a food offering over here. It's called Chocolatini. So there's like all kinds of like cool sweets and things you can grab from Chocolatini just over here. And worth mentioning too, um, Atlantis is a card only um, for payment options, so no cash here. So off to the right side of the Royal Pools, or the Royal Baths, we're just going to take you over this way and show you the Paradise Lagoon, which is like a nice little kind of uh, man-made beach here. So if we look over here, we can see there's like some lawn chairs here. There's like a swimming area over here as well. And there's even some spots to rent some water equipment, some kayaks and such. And you can go kayaking just out in the lagoon here. But this is like a really nice and quiet area. There's some like life jackets available over there. You can see a beautiful, beautiful beach here. There's a lifeguard on duty as well. And then just a nice spot to relax, read a book, get some sun. There's nice palm trees up here. And you get a good view of the towers where we started this uh, tour here today. So just on the other side of, or just to the right of Paradise Lagoon here, we're gonna walk down this walkway and it's gonna take us over to the Coral Towers and their beach and pool area. All right, so just continuing along this walkway here, just to the left is the Paradise Lagoon. We're gonna go up these steps here, but if you look over to the right, some more theming, some beautiful waterfalls with like big rocks, like a reef. And this is also what I mean about some of the theming too. We're not just walking across a bridge right now, we're walking across a rope bridge. I just love it, the theming here. Nick, you got a nice view out over here over Paradise Lagoon. This is a really great spot for a picture. And if we look out over the lagoon there, that kind of circular building out here is Lagoon Bar and Grill where you can grab some food. All right, so just down here is where we just were, kind of walking up to the uh, rope bridge and uh, kind of on our way over to the coral towers and beach towers. This was the Lagoon Bar and Grill that I mentioned. But I did speak to one of the staff members here. Oh my gosh, this is like a really nice view here. Holy cow. And sorry if it's getting a little bit loud. There's some waterfalls here uh, underneath these seahorses. But um, what I wanted to tell you was that we talked to one of the um, staff here and they said that the coral towers and the beach towers pool areas are closed for renovation. So we're not able to actually go over there, but I can show you on a map what kind of is offered there and you can kind of see some of the things and where they're located. So if you look down at the map right here, I'm basically standing uh, just right here at this railing. And if you look down over here, you can see some different things offered. There's a predator lagoon where some of the like kind of more, you know, predator uh, marine animals are. There's some pools over here too in the coral uh, pool area. And there's some uh, snacks and uh, dining options too. The coral pool dining and the cave bar and grill. Uh, if we flip this over, you can see too that if you keep walking along, you come out here and this is where the beach pool is if you're staying at the beach hotel. And they also have uh, some different options. There's some pools here and some dining options. Just looking at the map to see what this one's called right here. The beach bar and grill. So you can see there's lots of cool stuff to kind of walk around and see and some pools and stuff there if you're staying at the beach. So nice and close to your hotel there and same with the coral. But with that, we're gonna head back to the Royal Bass area and continue our tour. So on our way back over to the Royal Bass, we're actually gonna take another route here. Um, if you watch our other video, kind of touring the inside of Atlantis, we were only able to really get on these um, balconies just over here where these railings are, just on the other side, inside where the um, building is. So this is where, um, over here, kind of where I'm standing, this is where you're able to get if you um, have a day pass or you're a resort guest. If you're just looking for public access, you're restricted to sort of just these railings outside the building there. So yeah, inside the um, kind of day pass and the resort guest uh, section, there's lots of different foliage and some bridges and some water 
um, fount or water pools you can see here with some like animals coming by. You can see there's some, I think these are stingrays. There's one right there. And if we look, this is actually the main lobby area and the pools or these uh, little aquariums right here are the um, pools that are naturally lit that you can look at from the first level that we saw yesterday in our tour. So interestingly, didn't know you can actually do this, but I see some guests over there. They're actually snorkeling in the aquarium. So that must be like a separate excursion or thing or pass that you have to buy. But they're in the aquarium with all those animals there that we saw from the dig and also from the um, first floor aquarium windows. So that's pretty cool. That's something maybe you want to inquire about and see if you can go snorkeling and see some of these cool marine animals in here. This is another really cool thing that I love to see at Atlantis is all these like kind of artifacts and things like that. How cool. Look at, almost looks like a little golden snitch from Harry Potter on top. <laughs> yeah, this is like, kind of like a little maze here, just walking through. It's all kinds of like cool bridges and things, like little water baths with fish in them. And then there's lots of spots to kind of stop and take some pictures. I think I've got myself into a dead end here, so I'm gonna go back. So again, there's some more uh, artifacts here and some cool like theming in these little pools. This is the outdoor dining here that we saw earlier, or yesterday in our tour. This is the outdoor dining here for Poseidon's table. So if you grab the dish inside of the buffet, you can sit out here on the balcony. So again, it's always worth it to walk down these little trails here inside the grounds of Atlantis because you end up with beautiful spots like this. And this is looking over Paradise Lagoon. So if you ever get disoriented out here, kind of like I just was, I'm um, trying to get back to the Royal Baths and uh, an easy way to do that is it's basically lined up with the um, kind of the the hole or the bridge suite at the Royal Towers. So if you look, this is where the Royal Towers are and there's the bridge suite right there and the baths are just down and straight out from there. So if we walk straight out, we'll definitely get to the Royal Baths where we started our tour. So again, nothing really to mention up here except kind of a cool little photo spot. If you look up this way, here's the Royal Baths. All right, so I came back to my favorite spot to do the outro for you guys, but hopefully that was some, an informative video for you guys to see some of the outdoor areas and the grounds. Also AquaVenture, which is just behind us here at, uh, at Atlantis here on Paradise Island. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, give this video a thumbs up, or even if you just found it entertaining to watch and take in the sights here at Atlantis, give this video a thumbs up too. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where are we going next?